Hey guys, welcome back to the Malware Analysis Bootcamp. In this video, we're going to be talking about packers and their role in malware analysis. So we'll be taking a look at uh, what exactly packers are and their role. And then finally, the tools we'll be using uh, to unpack uh, malware samples. All right, so let's get started. So firstly, what is a packer? Well, a packer is a tool or a utility that is used to compress the content of the malware. Now, of, of course, they're used for many uh, for other purposes. They could be used for legitimate programs. They essentially uh, compress the file or the executable and reduce its size. And they, of course, they do this by obfuscating uh, the content. And in our particular case, uh, packers obfuscate the content of the malware. So this makes it difficult to analyze strings, as you'll see in, in, uh, in a few minutes. Now, uh, packers compress an, uh, an executable and when executed, the packed executable will be uh, decompressed. So, uh, for example, if I had a malware sample and I packed it, and then once it's on the target uh, computer or the target one, once the target executes it, it essentially uh, decompresses the original, uh, the original executable or the original binary, and uh, through that process of decompress, uh, of decompressing or decompression, we are able to get the original sample, which means we can then begin our strings analysis. And you'll see the difference in a few minutes. So uh, the tools we'll be using, uh, or the packer we'll be using, is UPX, and the tool we'll be using to detect a uh, uh, particular packing is EXE Info PE. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we are back in Flare VM and we're ready to take a look at packing, how to detect packing, and of course, how to decompress a particular binary or a piece of malware that's been packed. All right, so uh, for our sample that we were using uh, for static analysis, what I've done is I have packed the sample, and of course, I've done it using UPX, but uh, just assume that you didn't know that. You can see that uh, the name of the malware is pretty much the same as the unpacked version, and uh, you can see that the file size differs. So for example, the packed version is about 30 kilo, uh, kilobytes, uh, and uh, you can see right over here, the unpacked version is 68 kilobytes. So uh, quite a, a difference in terms of size. So let's take a look at what exactly is different, right? So what I'm going to do is let me just uh, uh, let's view the strings for the uh, for the unpacked version and for the packed version. Let's see what the difference is, right? So because you really do you really do need to see the difference um, right over here. All right. So let's say uh, let's bring that to six, uh, the minimum size to six, and we'll also bring it to six right over here and hit rescan. And immediately you can see that um, for the unpacked version, we are able to see the strings that we want to see, which are all the useful strings like the, uh, the domains, uh, the registry keys. However, in the packed version, you can see that uh, all the data is now turned into gibberish. Now, of course, we do have readable text uh, like the copyright notice here and a few other words that would make sense. So for example, you can see that um, uh, we have the software uh, registry key here, but that's been completely uh, obfuscated in a way that we cannot understand. So the strings here aren't useful. Now, of course, uh, I could have used a different uh, packer to make it even more unreadable, but you can see the di the dilemma that uh, malware analysts face when dealing with uh, with packers. So th that is in essence the difference. Now, how do we detect if a sample has been packed and what packer is being used? So let us go into the packed sample here, and to do this, we'll use a tool called EXE Info PE, which I've talked about uh, very very recently. So let's open it up. And immediately you can see that we have the file, we have the various entry points and all the information and we get uh, the file type, which is a 32 bit DLL. And right over here, we get the packer that is being used. We have the packer name, which is UPX and the author and the version of the packer. It then gives us very useful information. And that information is how uh, our instructions on how to unpack the binary. So right over here, it tells us to unpack it, we type in upx.exe, of course, uh, and that is already uh, added as an environment variable in Flare VM, so we can immediately launch it, and we use the D flag to decompress the, uh, the, 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 the executable or the sample. All right, so let us try that right now. So what we're going to do is, uh, I'm just going to open this up here, and uh, let me just clear this out. So we'll clear that out, and um, what I will do is I will say upx.exe, 
and I'll hit enter and you can see the options. So you can compress or decompress files. We want to use the D flag and that will decompress. So we'll type in UPX and we want to browse to that particular directory. So we'll go to the packed directory here and we will say we want to uh, decompress this sample. But of course, we haven't uh, typed in the D flag. So let us enter that right now. So we uh, want to decompress. So we're going to say D and uh, we are going to hit enter and that is going to decompress it and immediately you can see that the the binary is, is restored or decompressed to its original state and it's a 68 kilobyte so uh, there is no difference right over here from the packed and the un uh, and the unpacked version so what i'm going to do is let us go into the strings and immediately if we reduce this the minimum size here to six and let's rescan that you can see we get all the strings back right over here now, another quick thing I wanted to let you guys know is uh, this is where hashes might come into play. So uh, if I, for example, were to pack this sample once more, so I can say, for example, um, I'll say UPX and I'll use the highest compression level, which is nine. And I'll use the flag uh, QVFK, QVFK, and I essentially drag in the sample here and uh, let's hit enter. Whoops, sorry about that. And we want to hit enter here. You can see it is going to pack it for us right over and we will delete the uh, the pack the unpacked version so what we'll do is we will open up notepad plus plus here so let's open up uh, notepad plus plus and uh, we will get the respective hashes so we'll create a new hash here so new hash right over here and uh, we will go into uh, this uh, the uh, the packed version we'll get the md5 hash we'll copy that and we'll paste this here so we'll say packed and um, we'll put that in there and uh, let's get the uh, the uh, the unpacked version let's get the md5 hash here and we'll copy that hash so right over here we will say this is the unpacked version and you can see that the hashes are very very different and that again is a great way of uh, indicating whether changes have been made to a particular uh, particular sample regardless of the name being the same one would not be able to tell uh, so again, that is uh, packing in uh, in essence or very generally speaking. Uh, I haven't covered cryptos yet, uh, but I will get to encryption of a particular samples later on. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in regards to packing and I'll be seeing you in the next video.